The Creditons version of DCR DEX is very much predetermined by the Creditons release cycle and as such tends to be updated when major releases become available or significant bug fixes are needed to be implemented. The standalone version DEX C on the other hand gets all the updates and improvements at the point of release including experimental features as we saw in the previous Market Maker video. In the future DEX C will get system specific installers which will make the upgrade process standardized and more streamlined. For now, replacing the pre-built system binaries with the new version is the default upgrading process. Although this is relatively straightforward, people that are not used to upgrading their software in this way may find it helpful to see the process in action. Firstly, locate your installed Dexy folder. You can put this in the location of your choosing. But as you may recall from the Dexy install video, we placed ours in the documents folder. Next, open dex.decred.org, scroll down to the standalone link and click. As the version in the link isn't the latest, we need to click on the releases link in the navigation area. Which shows us the latest version, currently DCR DEX 0.6.3. Download the appropriate version for your operating system. In my case, I'm on a Mac, so I'll download the Darwin version. Once downloaded, head over to the downloads folder and unzip the package. Drag and drop the folder or copy and paste into your documents area. Head over to your documents and delete the old Dexy folder. In my case, the version that says 0.6.2. Select the new Dex folder then right click and select the new terminal at folder option. Enter the command dot forward slash dex C and press enter. If you get a permissions error, you'll need to allow in your privacy and security settings. Once complete, re-enter the dot forward slash dex C command in the terminal and press enter again. DEXC is now upgraded and running. Although this has finished the upgrade process, it's worth opening the new version to make sure everything is working as expected and to see all the new features and improvements. Copy the address given in the terminal into your web browser and sign in. Once DCR DEX is open, you'll need to wait for the software to sync with the active wallets before you can make any trades. It's also worth waiting for the wallets to sync before you attempt to close the software. In my case, the DCR Fidelity Bond has expired, so I'll need to wait two block confirmations before I can trade or close the software. Once finished, sign out of DCR DEX. And in the terminal, press Ctrl and C together to stop DEX C from running. Once the shutdown sequence is complete, it's safe to close the terminal and you're done.